if I don't know. Let's see. What's happening? False person. Okay. Um someone's not showing who they really are. Oh, back to cloak hat hide. What is this about? In terms of money, sexuality, mystery. Thief. Oh, somebody's really trying to come for you. This could even be, okay, within your friend group or somebody close to you. Somebody really doesn't like you or they're jealous of you. Be cautious of going into business with Ten of Cups, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male, or somebody who has a lot of masculine energy. It could be a female. You need to cloak. You need to hide your money. If you're married to this person, you need you don't need to show them. Somebody's really trying to manifest off of you. When you're in their life, things go well. When you leave, it's kind of fuzzy for them. They want to come back, maybe use your energy, your money. They may even try to take you to court. Or they're going to come back with some pettiness. Um, they see you might have the higher-ups or the court on your side. And they're in complete despair. This person is desperate. This person is desperate, right? Be cautious of this energy. Wow, because they see you in high regard. They may even be trying to come and sleep with you or they're just not doing well financially, physically. They want you to hear them out. They feel like you're the mature one or, or there's maturity with you. The Hierophant. You, you're the one who knows, who, who has a lot of knowledge, who can guide them out of this tough time, out of some uncertainty in their life. They may give you, they may text you, call you, put you in a place so, you know, needing, trying to understand if you should help or you should not. They may even try to come back to you and date you. Like, they may even want to move back in. Wow, and I said that and the house came up. Do they want you to move back in? <sighs> this is, um, Hyde. What was it? Hat, cloak, hide. This person is a magician. First of all, this is who they are. A liar. And they're hiding their true intentions. So do know that's who you're dealing with. Especially if it's a feminine energy. It doesn't have to be a man. It can be. It, it could be a woman. But it could be somebody with a lot of feminine energy in their charts. Start putting these people birth charts. Um, they could be coming back to you fast. Okay. Can we get a clear spread for, I hope you guys stick around. Um, let's see if we can get a clear spread for Aquarius. Cause we kind of figured it out with the Kemper deck as to why you, somebody's coming with the, the hat on their cloak and they're trying to hide their true intentions they're trying to mask themselves all right from that energy spirit god will you bless aquarius with a reading what's going on um what should aquarius be aware of what's the advice here for all right let's see what's going on okay the star card in reverse there needs to be no reconciliation with this person um they, they're offering you nothing good okay this could even be a person outside of your group or your friend group or something about them being blocked on technology. They can't look you up or look you up. Oh, so you need to make sure this person can't look you up. You need to hide your stuff, whatever, online. 
cloak yourself cloak your energy you might even need to look into a cloaking spell if that's if you're into that type of stuff three of pentacles this person is trying to come back and act like they want to work with you the three talks about creation and works um, like they want to share their life with you or they want you to share their life with them maybe even share your work to see what you're working on or what you've got in the works and they want to be a part of it. They may even try to lay claim to it legally. The Three of Pentacles is about paperwork, legal work. You have Ten of Pentacles. They want a piece of this. They want a piece of your empire, your legacy, what you built. This could be family. This family members or these family members are trying to figure out how you did this or what you're doing. Or they're trying to look you up or they're trying to get be involved in it. It says if you don't like your family, go make your own. In the Ten of Pentacles, the advice is stay home. Also, if you're thinking about going out or going to go visit or going to go see, Ten of Pentacles talks about going to visit family. The advice is stay home. If you don't have to go, don't go. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles also says like you could be marrying into money, affluence, or you could just be coming into that. That could be a transfer of wealth happening for you in your life right now. Um, inheritance and this could be spiritual or it could be like actual physical this could, as I said spiritual it popped out of my hand this talks about spirituality so some of you are inheriting your spiritual gifts somebody's trying to come and take it or steal it or figure out how you do this and what you're doing or if they can be a part of it um, spirit is going to talk to you they want you to be grounded um, also do something with water water um, clearing some of you need to take your spiritual baths um i do have those spiritual um, bath salts for sale on my website you want to take advantage of that you need to be doing that around new moon and full moon waning moon you know things of that nature um but you you, you need to be doing that you know and if you can't take a bath you can do it in the shower you know but you need to be cleansing and clearing your energy especially when you got people like this trying to figure you out or figure out what you're doing or steal something from you what is this uh the ten of cups coming out again so these these are people who are acting these are actors the, the cups sometimes can be in regards to actors um these are people who act like something is when it isn't like they're happy for you when they're really not these are people who act like they want to come and partner with you but they, they're coming to take we had the what was that that came out false person and a thief they're coming to take what else is going on here for the aquarius i'm happy it got clearer because i was like what nine of swords these purple these people think about this all the time and i don't know if they want you in some type of mental anxiety depression overthinking not being able to sleep there's somebody in pain you know physical pain mental emotional pain dark night of the soul this is when the emotions and the thoughts just kind of attack you you try to run from it you can't run from it anymore this is somebody having a you know a hard time coping with something being over you could have left something or left someone up the death card a relationship could have ended the death card talks about that somebody transitioned could be a death somebody transitioned from this relationship to the next um or, or transitioning into something somebody uprooted themselves somebody felt like okay aquarius is rooted to me like they're not going anywhere someone uprooted themselves started to enact self-care put themselves first could be you aquarius all right what else going on here so this person doesn't like that they don't like that vibration they could be trying to come back and act will of fortune could be dealing with some masculine energy now could be you uh could be someone else um i heard change the trajectory this might could be trying to change your trajectory the tra trajectory what can you clarify what the will of fortune is someone's trying to have a serendipitous meeting with you the four of swords someone want, yeah four of swords in reverse they would have come out of separation with you that see they feel like it was a temporary one so it's like well it was supposed to be a temporary separation so we're coming back together right I want it now you know it's my Aquarius and I want them now and someone's trying to maybe even do some you know ask the universe do some magic to um, have like some surprise meeting with you or 
you know, be in the same place at the same time. The perfect timing coming up. What else happening here? Yeah, like all of a sudden. Somebody wants you to come out of a peaceful place also. Like they're trying to change your fortune. They want you to be disfortunate. They want you, or is that a word? Or unfortunate. They want you to be um, kicked out or expelled or pushed out or without or in a dark place or they want some sudden destruction somebody could even oh Aquarius if you are planning to travel keep your travel plans to yourself until you get there until you you know you arrive or whatnot you know don't tell too many people what you're doing somebody could even be praying for your death or um praying that something happens to you while you're you're traveling um, make a travel amulet, you know, make a travel bag that protects you. Somebody could be, this is just absolute. Look, we got chains like somebody's, like as you're traveling, somebody wants something to happen to you. This is crazy. These people are absolutely nuts. Um, they want you to have accident or be involved in some disaster, whether it be manufactured or a natural disaster seven of pentacles they want you in a holding place or stuck or not restricted ace of swords not able to make some change in your life this person could want i heard relapse somebody can want you to relapse oh, can't make this stuff up and the seven of cups is at the bottom of the deck which talks about hallucinogens and drugs and being out of your mind and you know you're fuzzy you know lsd weed smoke overindulgence so somebody wants you to relapse this that's messed up they want you to do a 360 not a 180 they could even be trying to come against your vehicle or vehicles they want the universe wants you to cloak your energy cloak your energy hide yourself hide what it is you're doing because these people are looking real hard what okay what is why did cloak come up yeah nine of wands if people keep look people from your past people you've left in the past keep looking at you or trying to look for you or they're wounded they're without why did hat come up king of cups um someone could try to play on your good nature your emotions the fact that you know with inside of you you're really good you're a people person you have a great bedside manner you have you're really diplomatic someone could be trying to manipulate you emotionally hat he's kind of like a crown or a hat so it could be cancer pisces scorpio a male libra I don't know. It could be anybody somebody they're going to use any emotion that they feel would move you because he's the king of emotions or king of emotional balance so if you get things in balance or in check you just you know when to pull compassion when to pull love when to pull so this person just knows when to pull out whatever emotion again the water sign suit is about actors you see a lot of cancer pisces scorpio people are great actors like on television you know so and they can do that in life too whatever let me see um and then so we we got the cloak you need to cloak your energy because somebody's really looking at what you're doing in the hat because someone's trying to play on your emotions in the hide because you're about to get some really good news some big news maybe about even a large sum of money a promotion something that you've been working on you are about to be able to live life on your terms your own terms do whatever it is you want how you want to do it 
Um, you're going to be dressing different. You're going to look different. You're going to look youthful. You could already look youthful. It looks like something is rolling back for you. Maybe even time. You could be timeline jumping. This is, um, they want you to, to hide what's coming just for now. Is what I heard. Or you don't need to just put it out there so much. There's something big coming for you. Good news about a big achievement. Wow, can't make it up. It's going to be reason to celebrate. Success, victory, triumph. Justice. Strength. Temperance. Take the middle ground with some of these people. These people don't need to know what's going on with you because they don't, they don't mean anything good for you. Be the high priestess, be like the high priestess, you know, kind of off to themselves. Not be mysterious right now. Cloak your energy. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you stuck around long enough to, for us to kind of drill down on the information. Get your own personal reading. If you feel like this reading resonated with you for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. But before you do that, go to the community tab here on YouTube, grab a discount code, and then head over to the website. That's my gift to you. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.